What's going on guys? It's Quizzy Dog here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at exactly start to finish what the process looks like to install beta software or any USB key-driven manual software on the Hisense U8G, U88G, U7G, U78G, or really any of the U-series TVs. Now, this is a question that I get very often as far as how do I actually install this? So we're gonna go through, we're not gonna skimp on the process at all. This is gonna be completely start to finish and it's gonna take place right after a word from today's video sponsor. If you guys are looking for an affordable Windows 10 key, then you need to do yourselves a favor and check out VIPSCDKey.com. Using the link within the description below, as well as the coupon code GG20, you will have yourselves a brand new Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key for as little as $15.82. What are you waiting for? Use that link within the video description and thank you VIP SCD Key for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so step number one is actually getting everything set up on the PC. So I have my computer here. I'm sure you could probably do it on a Mac. I do have my MacBook over in my living area, but for this tutorial, we're gonna be using the TV. So one of the very first things that you need to do is locate one of these guys here. It's a little USB key, and this is gonna be what you actually put the beta software onto. So let's go ahead, plug this into the computer, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you format this to FAT32. That's the file extension that you need for the TV to actually read these files. There, so it's plugged in. So let's take a look on the PC side. We're gonna open our file explorer and in here we should see the USB, which I believe is this one here. So I think I already have a beta update on here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take a look and we're going to fully format. So we're gonna select format. We're gonna choose FAT32 in my case. This is a 32 gigabyte stick. Your mileage may vary. I wouldn't use anything terribly large like an external drive or anything like that, but you're gonna wanna make sure, of course, your size is appropriate for the size of the update. So we're gonna format this. It's gonna take no more than about five seconds or so. So that has been complete. And what we're gonna do is we're going to reopen the file explorer. We're gonna see that drive and now that drive is empty. So in this case, right over here, I do have the brand new beta version. This is not available to the public, but I know that some of you have had this beta sent out from the R&D team or the tech support team or the customer service side. So we're gonna show you guys exactly how to install this. So usually when you download it, it's going to be a zipped file. Let's go ahead and let's choose to extract this. We're gonna extract this right onto the desktop. And this takes, a couple of seconds as well. You can use uh, WinZip, you can use WinRAR, or I think Windows 10 and Windows 11 have a built-in zipping mechanism now. So now that we have that all situated, we have our USB drive here, we have the file here. So in this folder, we're gonna see we do have the package. Let's go ahead and let's pop this right over. And this is only containing one file. So very, very easy to do. This file in size is about 1.5 gigabytes. So I have USB 3, if you have USB 2, again, your mileage may vary, but we're just gonna wait for this to transfer over. And then we're gonna move over to the TV side and see exactly how to prep the TV for the installation of this software. And again, this software in this case is the beta M0414. This is the newest non-released beta that some of you might have get your hands on. But if you're watching this tutorial, you can actually use this same method to roll back your TV to previous public updates. And we've talked about that in previous videos. And I'm always met with the question, how do I roll back? How is this process? This is exactly how you're gonna do it. And please be mindful, if you're not comfortable doing this, you could have potential adverse side effects on the TV, especially if you do this incorrectly. So this tutorial, take it with a grain of salt, take it and do it only if you are comfortable doing it. I take no responsibility if anything happens 
to your TV. So please keep that in mind. So let's go ahead, let's extract or take out the USB drive and let's move over to the TV. Okay, so here we are in front of my U88G. We have the software update in hand if it wants to focus right here. And what you're going to wanna to do now is actually go ahead and locate your USB ports on the TV itself. Now on my U88G or U8G in the US market, if you're addressing the TV screen on, they're gonna be on the left-hand side. And of course, if you're looking at the ports on the back of the TV, they're going to be on the right-hand side. Now. On the back of the panel, there are two USB connectors, one on the top, one on the bottom, and you're going to want to use the one on the top. This is the high-speed USB 3.0, and it should be indicated by being blue on the port itself. Now, they do recommend this, but I have had some people say that they're not able to read update files using that port. So if you run into this, the bottom port will work. I don't know if some panels or some serial numbers are coded for one or the other, but just know that that one seems to be working perfectly fine for me, and that's the one we're gonna be using. So if I look for my remote control, I left it over there, I'll be right back. So now that we have the TV remote, which is this guy right here, you're actually going to want to take a look at the TV. It's reading that Lexar drive, and I'm gonna step out of frame so you guys can actually see that on screen. We can go ahead, we can hit cancel, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the power button on the remote control, give it a hold, and we're gonna choose power off. I believe it's power off, it might be restart. Again, it's been a little while since I did this. So now that the TV is off, we're gonna give it maybe 10 seconds or so, and you're gonna to wanna to repeat the same process by holding down the power button, and we'll take a look to see exactly what happens. There, so to get my mug back in frame, holding down that button, it seems to be putting it in some sort of method of checking for a USB drive. And if I step out so you guys can see the TV, and maybe I'll force it to focus here. There we go. You can see right now we have the USB upgrade screen. Now what this is doing is this is accessing that USB drive. It's nuking the current software. It's not putting anything over top of it. It's doing a full factory restore. And then this counter here is showing you both the restore process and the software update. Now it's very important if I step back in frame here, do not unplug your TV or do anything with the USB drive or the power during this process. That can result in your TV bricking and having no TV left. And that's why I say, do this at your own discretion. This is a tutorial based on demand, but I in no way endorse doing this if by chance you're not comfortable with the risk. So please keep that in mind and I can see things are happening. So now again, we're going through that software update process. We're gonna let this go through and we'll touch base as soon as it's done. All right, so now the process is done. As you guys can see in the background here, we're met with the initial startup splash screen. Now, there's no need for me to walk you guys through this because you've more than likely already been this through this when you initially set up the TV. So you're gonna pick your country, your language, you're gonna sign into your Google accounts, you're gonna do all of that fun stuff. But from there, you've successfully installed the update. And just so you guys can see that we have installed the update, I'm gonna run through this very quickly and we're gonna go through and we're gonna find this section in the TV where you guys can see exactly which software you're using, just as confirmation that of course it is on this panel. All right, so with the initial setup out of the way, let's go ahead and let's take a look within these settings. And so we're gonna make sure that we're focused in here as well. There we go. So in settings, if memory serves correct, is it an advanced system? Let's take a fly through here. Help, system message, right here. So software version, 
we have v000.01.00b.m0 0401 so again the m0401 is the new unreleased beta we're going to be testing this i'm going to actually have a second video just asking for some feedback that way the comments don't get muddied up on this video but if you are looking at the start to finish process and i mean complete start to finish process on how to use a usb drive to manually update your hisense tv this is the video so be sure to like comment share with the community whether it's online on your favorite tv or av forum if you found it useful other people may find it useful as well until my next video my name is crazy dog you guys have been awesome and we'll catch you guys right after i unplug the usb and start working on my next video take care